today our craft is from the story of Daniel in the Lion's Den. Um, I read a book about Daniel in the Lion's Den on Friday uh, um, for story time. If you missed that, you can go back and look on our Facebook page. It's been saved there. And so this is the craft that we're going to do to go along with that story. It's a little lion. And all you need to make this is paper, glue, scissors, and um, some crayons or some markers if you want to make the face. So I am using some different colored paper to make my lion. I'm going to use some orange, yellow, and brown. But you can use whatever color you want. You can also use white and color it in. So the first thing I'm going to make is the head for the lion. As you can see, I used a circle for that. And I'm going to use my brown paper to make the head. So as you can see, the edges of the circle are going to get cut at, are going to get um, covered up by the mane. So um, it doesn't really matter if your circle is perfect, but if you want some help making your circle, you can get um, a cup or a bowl or something that's round and use that to make your head. Now you can use something that's whatever size that you want. If you want to make a big lion or a um, little lion, it's completely up to you. So I'm going to use this mug. I'm going to put it flat on my brown paper. And then I'm going to just trace around it. So that then I can cut it out and that just makes a nice little circle there for me. And then I'm gonna cut it out. Now I'm going to make this mane on the lion. And this mane is pretty cool because you can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can use any colors you want. You can make it uh, pretty thick if you want it thick. So to make the mane, all you need to do is just cut out some strips of the color paper that you want. So I'm gonna use this orange and yellow paper. And I'm gonna cut some strips out of it. Now again, you can make these strips as big or as small as you want. You can make them as long as you want or as short as you want. Um, you can make different thicknesses and you know different lengths to use if you wanna. Here I made some long ones to put on the edge and then in the middle I made some shorter ones. So these, I'm just gonna about this big and now we're going to curl them to make them look like the lion's mane. So all you need to do to curl them is to take something like a marker or a pencil or anything and I'm going to wrap the paper around it starting with the edge. So I'm going to take the edge, wrap it around and just keep going. Just like that. And then, once I've wrapped it, I'm just going to take that out. And as you can see, now it's nice and curly. So the bigger the marker that you use to do this, the bigger the curl's going to be. And the smaller the marker you use, the tighter it's going to be. So if you use like a small pencil, you're going to get a really tight curl. And if you use like a big fat marker, you're going to get a much looser curl. So you can kind of experiment with it and you can make different size curls if you want. And then once you've made a bunch of these, as you can see, I left one end of the curl kind of flat. So um, that way it's just going to make it easier for me to glue it onto my head. 
So I'm gonna take my glue, put some glue on the flat part, and then I'm just gonna stick it right on the edge, like that. So there's my orange one, and now I'm gonna do the same thing with this yellow. Oops. And now I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna make more and more of these little curly pieces of paper. And then I'm gonna go all the way around. And then once I've gone around once, with this lion, I went around twice. I made a row of um, longer curls, longer pieces of paper, and then I made some shorter ones. And then I made, after I put the longer ones all the way around, then I put some shorter ones on top of that to make two layers. But you can make it as thick as you want. You can put as many little curly things on as you want. Um, if you get tired of making curlies, you can have a lion with a really thin mane. You can kind of just see how it how he turns out. And then after you put um, the mane on, the little area in the center is where his face is gonna be. So you can make your face however you want, but I'm gonna just show you how I made um, this face. So I started with the nose because to make that nose, I actually just, it's just a heart upside down. So, to make that, I just made a heart. Like that. And colored it in with black. And then, I just flipped it over. And then I made the mouth like that. And then I made some whiskers. And then two eyes on top. To make the eyes, I just made two circles and then made smaller circles on the inside and colored them in. And that's how you made, you make one of the lions from Daniel and the lion's den. So I will see you guys next week with a new craft. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you guys make any of these lines, make sure to send me a picture. Bye.